five EU nations – Germany, France, Italy, Spain and Poland – have endorsed a proposal for joint European defense bonds. This decision comes amid Vladimir Putin's approval of an updated nuclear doctrine. The Polish foreign minister highlighted that Putin's Russia poses one of the greatest threats to global security and the European security framework. He stressed that Russia's objective remains the systematic dismantling of Europe's security architecture. During the meeting, EU foreign ministers also discussed increasing European military support for Ukraine. We have agreed that Europe must take greater responsibility for its own security, and that includes a more balanced sharing of the burden among NATO members. On November 13th, a U.S. missile defense base was inaugurated in northern Poland. Under construction since the early 2000s, the base is capable of detecting, tracking and intercepting ballistic missiles at the early stages of their flight, covering a range of 1,000 to 5,500 kilometers. This is the second such installation in Europe, and according to the Associated Press, it will be integrated into NATO's missiles defense system. Polish officials emphasize that its opening reinforced the enduring strength of the Poland-US military alliance, regardless of changes in US leadership. At that time, President Lech Kaczynski said to me, Andrzej, these missiles will not defend Poland because they will be missiles designed to intercept ballistic missiles. In reality, they will primarily protect territories far, far from Poland against missiles that could potentially be launched, for example, from Iran. Reuters reports that Poland's missile defense system is currently configured to counter threats from the Middle East. For it to address potential threats from Russia, the radar system would need to be reoriented, a complex procedure requiring a shift in NATO policy. Despite these challenges, Moscow has already issued threats against Poland, warning of potential targeting. Russia frequently employs such rhetoric, including nuclear threats, as part of its foreign policy, particularly after the the full-scale invasion of Ukraine. The current threats and what is happening beyond our eastern border prompt us to further expand the operation of the missile defense base in Redzikovo. We are conducting such talks within NATO. The base was introduced as the American contribution to NATO's allied defense. This is not a deployed unit that can be withdrawn in a matter of minutes. Vladislav Kosiniak Kamysh, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of National Defense of Poland, in comments to Polish media. Poland's defense minister noted that approximately 10,000 U.S. troops are currently stationed in the country. Their responsibilities include securing the Zheshvov airport, a critical hub for channeling military support to Ukraine. Reported by Baston Katerina KD, UATV News.